Hello everyone, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Real Russia Channel, the deepest insight into the real Russian life. My name is Sergey Baklikov, and there behind the camera, Renat Kutlakmetov. Say hi, man. Hi. Today we are going to make a really interesting insight into the biggest, can you hear me? The biggest oil tank farm in the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, which is located in the city of Ufa, which is the capital of Bashkortostan. This one belongs to Bashnevs. That means Bashkortostan oil, the largest refinery in the Republic of Bashkortostan and one of the largest in all Russia. So it's going to be great. Let's get it started. We are getting inside according to all the safety tips. So we have uh, this, uh, you know, uniform and cask in our heads. We've got inside of this oil tank farm and that's the place from where we can see all the picture and make a general review for you to understand how everything works. This is the receiving unit. That's where the oil products are coming from the refineries, actually from the refinery of Ufa and uh, the refinery which is called Navoil, an estacade and so-called automated system for loading. That's where these tracks, tank tracks, are getting the oil products and deliver them to the gas stations. And finally, the lab. That's where the uh, quality controls of the oil products happens all the time. Now, let's get even deeper and look at everything in detail. Come on. That's the pipelines. Through these pipes, the final oil product like a petrol 80, 92, 95 diesel coming from the refineries to these receiving units and getting stored into these huge tanks. Uh, let me tell you that this tank farm is for transshipment and distribution purposes. So these tanks are not okay for a long-term storing. They are just for short-term purposes. Like you've got the petrol, got it loaded into the tracks and that's it. And cycle repeats. But let me tell you one curious fact about the pipelines that leads from the refinery into the tank farm. It is not common for Russia or at least for Republic of Bashkortostan because this is the only one out of 12 uh, farms, uh, farms in the Republic of Bashkortostan that have the pipelines. This one located not far from the refinery, so that's why it is efficient here, but more common to have its deliveries, I mean the oil products to the tank farm through the railroads in cisterns, you know? And now let's get inside of the control operating room. It is here. We just have been to the receiving unit and that's the computer from where they control all those pipelines here they are. Uh, we can see all the parameters like a mass, density, temperature, water level. Another computer from where the control for the automated system for loading. Automated system for loading. That's where all these tank tracks are getting filled with the uh, oil products and so finally get it delivered to the gas stations. Be careful here. Handle with the pipes, with the pipes that leads into the tanks. Locking device for an insurance of the driver. Important rule is to have the uniform, which is completely consisted of 100% cotton. So the security rules are work pretty strict here. You know, Bash Nefts, Bash Oil Company have as a clean petrol like 92, 95 as so-called Atom. It means that this is the petrol which is mixed with the fuel additive. And that's the place where the system mix the petrol with the fuel additive. This is the control block 
and that's where the additive locate is. Inside of this, here is an automatic system that uh, itself estimates how many fuel additive needed for a certain amount of the clean petrol and it mix this and i want to say that uh, it goes by portions not all at once but by portions you know that's to make it equally and easier to mix and now this is the right place where i can tell you more about fuel additive for bush oil company it is the barrels with it which is called kirapur 3707 it is powers created invented by uh, german chemistry concern which is called bus they have got a uh, bush oil certainly bush oil petrol started researching this and then based on these uh, parameters parameters of bush oil petrol on a uh, climate of uh, Russia and so all the rest created this fuel additive. The sense of fuel additive is uh, there are actually three reasons. Cleaning and gene, increasing the power and economy. inside of this box that the guy now carry in the lab the probes so they are taking the probes of uh, the petrol from different places and that's where they are making the analyze of this the first interesting thing that i want to show you is the engine it is standing here and it is needed to estimate the octane number of the petrol really many devices here and you can find the details of almost everything inside of the petrol let's say this device can find the amount of water inside of the petrol with this syringe you just take a petrol gets it inside and the special chemical reagent finds how many water is inside of the petrol and gives the result on the screen the one which is estimates the amount of sulfur inside of the petrol well in this room even more different uh, devices like this distillation tester and here as far as i can see how they find the fractional composition of the diesel fuel mobile scanner it can be not only in the lab but in a mobile lab the fridge that's where they store the probes of the petrol final point at this oil tank farm where the security guards before the gates checking all the labels with a, such a special stick with the mirror on the top of this and the papers only after the security check it gives the permission to go next and next point where they will go is the final destination to the gas stations and that's actually where we will go now too And now this is the final destination when the oil products are coming from an oil tank farm to these retail gas stations. From here it is getting into the tanks of the usual drivers, you know. Now we can see how is the worker of this gas station receive the oil products from the branded tank track. One of the Bush Neft, Bush Oil gas stations. They are colored in a branded colors like white, violet and green. But now let's get closer to the charger for pumps. Diesel 92, Atom 95 and 98 petrol. 
the drivers goes to pay in a place which is called market and it's really so because here is not only the cashier but really a market this is the store where you can buy snacks cold drinks and uh, something for your car like a wipers like an oils and things like that little fun shop of the hockey club Slava to life let me tell you that it's pretty big and offer because this club is twice champion of the continental hockey league besides these snacks you know drinks here is like a real coffee shop and cookery we can find the coffee machine with uh, all this pretty quality beans, chocolate cakes, pies, and hot dogs. That's what I love. And that's the place where you can sit down and, you know, just quietly with a rest to get your food and coffee. And sure, like everywhere in Russia, a lot of beautiful ladies. Once we are in a gas station, how not to say about the prices for a fuel in Russia in September 2016. Special for this, we came to the price boards and we can see that an average price is actually 36, 37 rubles per liter. If to convert this into United States dollars and then to gallons, this is an average 2.2 dollars, I mean 2 dollars 20 cents per gallon. Okay guys, that was another episode of Real Russia Channel, the deepest insight into the real Russian life. And I hope that you really enjoyed this insights into the oil tank farm in the city of Ufa. My name is Sergey Baklakov behind the camera. Renat Kutlakhmetov. Thank you for job, man. Comments, like and subscribe. See you.